Hey, this is Joe with Grow It, Build It, and today I'm going to tell you how to save penstemon seeds. So uh, this is the seeds I got. Um, wasn't too hard to get them. These are extremely tiny seeds, penstemon seeds. Um, yeah, the effort to get this was probably 20 minutes of work, so not too much. Um, all these little hard block things are seed, and I don't know how much is there. Probably between 10,000 and 100,000. Yeah, basically I don't know. There's just a whole lot. Um, it's also very clean. There's not much chaff there, so I guess we'll have to dive in and figure out how we save the seed from this. So let's get going. Okay, so I'm going to be talking about the plant, or I'm saving seed from the plant, hairy beard tongue, Penstemon hirsutus. Um, I have a detailed video on this plant if you're unfamiliar with it, which I'll put a card up on the right. But uh, anyways, uh, all Penstemon plants will produce seeds in a very similar way. So this method will apply to any other kind, or at least any other kind I've ever come across. But it'll bloom in uh, spring, and about six weeks to two months afterwards, um, you can go collect the seed you'll know it's ready because the stalks will be brown and these little pods on the end or capsules will also be brown and you know starting to get dry um, but you can identify it from those and also from the leaves of the plant um, if you are familiar enough with or know how to ID stuff from uh, botany botanical ways anyways uh, you're gonna want to get a pair of pruning shears or scissors um, and that's because these things do not uh, break off very easily um, so you can't just snap them off. It's easier just to cut them. But uh, there's a good reason to do this too. Uh, this plant will locally self-seed quite heavily, so it's kind of a good idea to uh, go through and do this because I mean, otherwise, I mean, I have an ever-expanding colony, which I don't mind. But uh, you know, that's me. It's not everybody. But anyways, uh, cut all your seed heads off, and I had to use a bucket that day because it was a little wet, but I transferred them to a paper bag so that they could dry off for at least another week. And this is a very important step. You always want to make sure you dry your seeds a bit um, for most species. And that's just to help make sure that when you store them, they don't get moldy or anything. And plus, if these were wet, it, they'd stick to the pods more and stuff. But anyways, other materials you could use is a couple of paper plates, a common kitchen strainer, and then some kind of bucket or like a mixing bowl, something like that. But once it's dried for a week, um, it's not very scientific how to get all the seeds out of here. You just start pinching the pouches. Just crush them a little bit. Um, and you'll be surprised with how hard they are to actually pop. Um, some of them are just packed den so densely with uh, seed. But uh, each one of these little capsules really hold a lot of seed. So I'll try to get some close-up shots here. As you can see, eh, it's just flying out of that one. But uh, um, all the little black parts there are seed. So you know you get this torn open just a little bit. I mean it there you can see that thing is just full of seed um, if you're just doing this to grow a few more plants for yourself you probably only need one pod uh, but uh, anyways just go through and start popping uh, the uh, seed heads and uh, once you feel that you've done enough which I didn't do them all by any means but once you think you've done enough uh, for yourself now we're just going to uh, shake the bag a little bit um, that's going to dislodge the seed out of there. So like when I was popping the pods, I wasn't grinding them up or anything. I was just getting them to burst a little so that the seed would have a path to escape. And apparently my bag has a path to escape any also. Whoops. Anyways, uh, now we're going to dump uh, the contents of the bag into a bucket. And I wish I had used like a really large mixing bowl or, I mean, I do have a five gallon bucket nearby. I could have just used that as well. But, uh, Carefully pour it in there to try not to make a mess, and this is going to be mostly seed and whatever seed heads are there or are falling off, so on and so forth. And if you find more you want to pop, you know, well, now's the time to do it. But uh, anyways, once we've done that, um, it's going to get a little bit easier, or an easy step after that. We're just going to separate the chaff. So put your strainer over a paper plate and dump that uh, stuff through there, and it removes the chaff. Now, I usually like to do this a few times just to... You know, I like to have clean seed. It's up to you. But it's just a slick way to uh, get rid of most of the uh, non-seed material. So uh, once you've done that a few times, if you're really sure that it's dry, you can store it. Otherwise, I'm probably going to let mine uh, sit in a, a very dry location for about another week uh, before I bag it up. But um, once you're sure that it's dry, though, uh, you just you can put it in a Ziploc bag 
or you could just use an envelope, I guess, too. Uh, and it'll keep for at least a couple years. Um, I've never worried about it much after that because, I mean, you know, you see this. The plant's so prolific. It's no problem to go get seed every year if you want. It's not a big deal. Um, and uh, so in all, I got seed from three or four plants. And I think by volume, I got roughly a golf ball's worth of seed, something like that. So yeah, it's and when I said it's between ten thousand and a hundred thousand, I don't think I'm wrong. Maybe I mean I don't know if you guys think I'm completely wrong. Tell me in the comments. But uh, yeah, so that's basically the main stuff. Um, I will have a we do have a good article on this particular plant at our website, which I'll put a link in the description, and also another article that it's just a general how to go save seed from flowers and wildflowers. You know. Um, with a whole lot of pictures of what seed heads look like. So if you're into North American native plants, that could be of interest to you. But uh, anyways, uh, if you guys enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I cannot believe how much seed came out of this thing, though. It's I've never, I mean, I've saved seed from this plant before, but I've just never really, <laughs> you know, gone after it as much, I guess you could say. But anyways... That's it. I'll give you one more gratuitous shot of the slow motion seed pouring just because I think that's cool. And if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments. And you guys all have a good day.